Hello my dear friends. In this video, I'll show you how to fix fatal INT18 boot failure. Let's first understand at very high level, what is the root cause of this issue. Motherboard firmware, popularly known as BIOS is responsible to start your computer and load the actual operating system. There are two major types of motherboard firmware. One, legacy BIOS, which is based on MBR partitioning. 2. UEFI BIOS, which is based on GPT partitioning. And these MBR or GPT tables are stored at the starting sectors of your hard disk and has all the necessary details required to start your operating system. Now, the root cause of fatal INT18 boot failure is your hard disk was partitioned with UEFI or GPT method, but now being accessed with legacy BIOS setup or partition table information stored in your hard disk is corrupt. With no further delay, let's go ahead and fix these issues. Solution 1. Boot your system with UEFI BIOS settings. This error is most popular in VirtualBox, but I will show you how to fix this in both your virtual machine as well as in regular computer. If you are here for virtual machine, Please go ahead and power off your virtual machine. In your main VirtualBox manager, right-click on the VM and select Settings. Please choose System. Down below over here, we have a checkbox for EFI. Please go ahead and enable it. Let's now try to start the VM. This would run for some time, please wait for the process to complete. And, if you get into this screen, just select Restart. As you can see, I no longer get boot failure error. Let's move on to a regular computer. Power off your system. We now need to start the PC and get into BIOS setup. In order to access BIOS setup, you must press the BIOS key soon after you turn on your computer. Please remember, this BIOS key differs for each PC. Here are some of the common BIOS keys. Please search internet with your PC or motherboard model if you are not sure. Once you are in BIOS, you should see a screen similar to this. Navigate and look for boot mode or UEFI related settings. Set boot mode as UEFI only. And boot priority as UEFI. Save and exit. After this change, your PC should start normally. Solution 2. Automatic Startup Repair. You need a bootable OS installation media for this. Please follow these steps to boot your machine from bootable installation media. Once you have booted from OS disk, you should land in a screen similar to this. Tap on Next. Select Repair Your Computer. Go to Troubleshoot. Choose Startup Repair. Please wait for this process to complete. Post this repair, you should get your PC restarted normally. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.